What's going on everyone? Welcome to another Keyshot Quick Tip. In this video, we'll take a look at how you can use Keyshot to create 3D printable geometry for prototyping and design review. Using Keyshot to ideate around different surfacing ideas can help to significantly speed up design decision making as well as reduce time spent in CAD. By using Keyshot's material graph, you can easily convert image textures into actual geometry through displacement. Not only does this allow you to create many iterations of surface effects, but it also allows you to easily manipulate and refine the depth and scale of a texture. The incredible part about using displacement is that these displaced textures can also be accurately 3D printed. This comes in particularly handy when prototyping surface elements that may be time consuming or difficult to model, and it can also help reduce the reliance on CAD for surface experimentation early in a project. In this case, I've created a sample Keyshot puck that incorporates a neural texture around its circumference. I was able to create this texture easily by downloading the Diamond Neural Image Texture from Keyshot's cloud library and then plugging it into the displacement node I created in the material graph. To create a displacement node, simply right-click in the material graph workspace and select Displace from the Geometry Flyout menu. This populates the workspace with a displacement node that can then be attached to the parent material's geometry input. With both nodes connected, you can now adjust how the displacement will appear, much like you would any bump texture in Keyshot. A quick little tip here, by using the hotkey C, you can toggle the color preview, which will allow you to better see an image texture on your object surface. This makes controlling scale and positioning significantly easier. Once your texture is at the correct scale and position, make sure to execute your geometry nodes to ensure your model surface accurately reflects your new settings. Do this by clicking on the Execute Geometry icon at the top right of the real-time window, or by selecting the Execute Geometry button under the Displacement node properties. At this point, if you're happy with how your surface texture appears, it's time to export for 3D printing. If you're using a basic FDM printer such as myself, then exporting in STL or OBJ format will allow you to quickly get into your slicing software and start 3D printing. However, Keyshot also offers a variety of other exportable file types that are available from the same export list. This includes a ZPR file format for printing with Z-Corp machines, as well as a 3MF format that allows you to not only export the model itself, but also includes color and texture data that lets you accurately 3D print multicolored and multi-textured parts from full color compatible printers, such as the new Stratasys J55. Once exported, open your file in your slicing software of choice and proceed as you would normally with any other 3D printing project. Thanks for watching this Keyshot quick tip. If you're interested in more useful Keyshot content, hit that subscribe button and get notified as soon as new videos hit the channel. Don't forget to let us know your thoughts on this tutorial in the comment section below, and if you found this video useful, give it a like and share with your friends.